Welcome guys to Lumberjack Koala. As always, I'm Koala. I'm Lumberjack. And today we're talking about the verdict. PS5 versus Xbox Series X. Technically, Xbox has kind of had their own uh, reveal of stuff. Their second reveal because nobody yeah. cared. Nobody cared yeah, no for, the cares. First, for the first reveal. <clears throat> oh, you talking about when they showed the console? Yeah, nobody cared about They're like, yeah. Then uh, fucking Godfall. Instead of a clap, they got uh, <clears throat> apps. They were like... <laughs> Freaking Godfall shows up on the awards. They say PlayStation Five, the whole stadium, even the CEO of Microsoft is like, "Yeah, woo!" <laughs> oh man. Anyways, we just watched the what was it called? It says the the future of gaming, right? Yeah, the future of gaming show, which they reveal all the exclusive games and <clears throat> third party games is coming out for the PS Five. And oh man, oh man. Did that win me over? Yeah. yeah. Pretty much every game they showed I enjoyed, except for four. Except four, for four? Which four one? Four of them. Yeah, one was Grand Theft Auto V. You know, I don't care about Grand Theft Auto. Well, I think that's more like a... You know, uh, well, no, you're right. Because it wasn't part of the montage. No, it wasn't. Yeah. And then uh, 2K... That was hilarious to watch because uh, <laughs> we weren't ready for it. <laughs> Fun fact, uh, if anyone doesn't know, um, Grand Theft Auto V is now on three generations of platform. Yes, it came out on the PS3 and Xbox 360, then got ported over to the PS5. <clears throat> I mean, the PS4, and now it's going to be ported over to the PS5. So, um, yep. prize if it was still $60 and came out on the PS5. Yeah, that's, it probably is. There's no, <laughs> no, there's no gonna be no surprise when it's $60. No, I'm just going to be like, wow. <laughs> They're going to call it Definitive Edition? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyways, yeah, the verdict, PS5 has got me. That's it. Yeah, this is the first time I'm going to pre-order a console. Oh, man, the first game they showed, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. How do you feel? I didn't think they could make Spider-Man look better, but they did. I... <laughs> Dude, the, the first game just came out. I know. And I was <laughs> when I saw the trailer, they, they can't make it look better. Even, even when I was playing Spider-Man in 2018, like... Okay, this is Spider-Man looks good. They can't make it look better. I saw that trailer. I was like, they made it look better. <laughs> oh, just by the way, guys, we're just going to put screenshots. We don't have a, a video capture unless y'all want to do a fundraiser. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're going to give you screenshots of what we saw. Well, the Spider-Man game looks freaking amazing. It's not even a full game. It's just expansion. <clears throat> but I guarantee you it's still going to be a, at least 15 hours. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty decent sized game. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be like Lost Legacy. It's probably going to be the same city, same setting, which basically they already got the yeah. nailed down from the first game. I feel like they just worked on Miles Morales in that yeah. world. I mean, if you play the DLC, you kind of saw that coming. The next game on the list, I don't really care. But, <clears throat> just like Spider-Man, it's going to be a system seller. Yeah. Which is Gran Turismo 7. I mean, if they're... I forgot the studio's name, but if they're confident saying... They, they literally put in the trailer, Gran Turismo's back. Yeah, they're, they're, they're confident in their game. Uh, the game looks good. The yeah. gameplay they showed it looks fucking fantastic. I can't wait. It might get me back on Gran Turismo. It probably will. Yeah, I, I'm, I was a big fan of Gran Turismo 2, and that was like the one that was like near and dear to my heart. But I couldn't break for shit. I couldn't do a perfect break <laughs> <laughs> when it came to those things that uh, every now and then I would fucking, you know, yeah, yeah. wreck into a wall or whatever, get into the sand pit, and I'm just like, okay, I can't do this. <laughs> this is not for me. You know what is missing? Fucking music, man. I think that's why I like Gran Turismo 2 so much. Yeah. Because it had punk pop music going on in the background. It's okay if you could be if you're a simulator, right? Yeah. It's okay that you could take nice photos and everything. But give something for the casual audience to be. When you look at Forza, you're just like, holy shit, man, that's a good looking game. And it yeah. looks like it's, it's very aggressive, mm -hmm. very uh, down to, to how people want to play these racing games. And Gran Turismo, there's people that, like, they get a heart on when they see a car. They're like, God. Yeah. Look at those curves. <laughs> That's a <all> good curves. <laughs> wow, that exhaust. That's a good exhaust. <laughs> they just, just spent hours taking pictures of their car. I understand if you're a car enthusiast, a car fanatic, and all that. This game is for you. This, these guys, the app, uh, what, what are they called? Poly what? I can never pronounce. Polygraphy. Poly. 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 poly, poly. <laughs> I, I, I can never pronounce her name right. <laughs> Well, that studio, you know they put their blood, sweat, and tears up in these games. You know they love these cars. Look at the details on the car, the model, shit. Yeah. You know, all they need is, like, a crash physics to me. Yeah, that's all they're missing. Be more aggressive. 
uh, please, you know, just give me something. I watched Ford versus Ferrari, and I was like, man, I want to see something like that, Gran Turismo, bro. <laughs> Anyways, we're moving on. Rift, Rift Apart? The Rift Apart, yeah. Rift Apart. And oh my god, that, that I mean, I haven't played the one that came out, what, 2016? Yeah, that came out in 2016, like, summer of 2016. It was like a reboot, a soft reboot to yeah, the original one. Yeah, reboot and reimagining. Well, me, I played, you know, the first three, Going Commando and all of them, on the PS2. And me trying to play the remake, I, I think I just didn't want to play it because I already felt like I already played it. Yeah. But I know there's tons of kids out there that wants to play this game. I know, I know over there in Tokyo, it's probably like one of the biggest IPs ever. But yeah, this game looks amazing. And it looks like they're trying to go into a whole different direction on separating Clank and Ratchet. Yeah. We got a new Wombax. I don't know what her name is or his name is. His name's yeah. Waffle. Or if you say Something so. like that. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, holy crap, the ray tracing on um, on Clank though. Yeah, hmm. well, I, I kind of want to go back and play the original, the remake, just to see how Clank looked like. I'm sorry, knowing all the shit that he went through, how does he look that chrome? <laughs> <laughs> they take all, they take all those. It's like watching the Transformers, and you know with that robot form, they take yeah. all that damage. They can turn back in the car for they're like, yeah, yeah, not a dent, no. not a fucking dent. <laughs> You know how many fucking flips and, and, and back rolls that motherfucker does on Clank? And Clank's just like, yeah, oh, let me just be informative about the stuff that's around us. Nah, he mistreats you. No wonder y'all fucking drifted apart. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just play it. This game looks fun. I, I guarantee you any kid that is excited for this game, they're going to be happy as hell when they get this game. So moving on, Project Athia. 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 Ath- if, well, you said it reminds you more like a Final Fantasy. Yes, the like original, like or the <clears> early <throat> days of Final. Because in modern day Final Fantasy, like they, you're more in cities now. Oh, all oh, I, I was oh. like, the games looked like that back in the day. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> I'm talking about graphics. I'm talking about uh, in most game, most modern Final Fantasy. Now you're in big cities and stuff like that. It reminds me of the early Final Fantasy when you were out in the wilderness. Yeah. And I like pretty much like I told Koala earlier. This looks like Final Fantasy, just more emphasis on the fantasy. I played the ones on the PS One. I think it was uh, Final Fantasy Seven and all of the original ones. Yeah, the original. Then after Final, Fa- oh, after I got PS Two, I really didn't care. You missed out. I had, Final yeah, Fantasy I, 10. I'm pretty sure I probably did. Final Fantasy Ten was. I see my cousin play it. Looks fun. Yeah, I'm about to replay but, it on PS Four. Yeah, but the fucking, I don't know what the hell these creatures are in this game. Mm-hmm. But Jesus Christ, they look creepy and interesting as fuck. Like I'm just like shit. I'm glad it's a fucking video game because that's the only way I'm gonna be brave enough to attack these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this game and it's being exclusively designed for the PlayStation Five. Is this a time exclusive, or is it really a, a, a PlayStation? Is PlayStation like swooping up fucking old IPs they had before and they're like, yeah, I yeah, like you these still com- be. I feel like these companies are more confident on the PlayStation side. Yeah, they, they already know that people are going to buy the PS5 regardless. Yeah, because another fun fact for y'all guys. Uh, guys who grew up with the PS1, do y- y'all remember that Final Fantasy moved on to the PlayStation because they said it was a lot easier to make the games on there. Yeah. And there was a lot more data other than the Nintendo 64 route. And that's what developers are saying, same thing for the PS4. I mean, PS5 now. So it's easier? Yeah, it's easier to... Um... And I, I, if I'm Xbox right now, I'm just, I'm just in a corner like, yo, what do we got? <laughs> we're, we're just two games we're what three games in well they do got one good game <laughs> which is what uh, Hellblade 2 oh the next one is Stray the fucking cat are you gonna be are you gonna play as a cat that's what it looks like yeah I, it's interesting I'm gonna get it it looks stylistic stylistic well I know one thing I'm gonna do this generation of PS5 I'm, I go, I'm gonna care less about the reviews I mean, I didn't care for the reviews from PS4 because honestly, if I would have, I would have been playing the same six games the whole generation. Forza, Call of Duty, just over and over and over. <laughs> 2K sports games. That's all, that's all I'm playing. That's what makes. Oh, oh, oh! Don't forget app games. Oh, app yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I feel like Lumberjack did make a good point back when we made our PS4, uh, our PS4, PS5 video, where he was saying that yeah, when. Xbox 360 was in the lead. People were mostly pay- playing uh, sports games and shooters. Yeah. <clears throat> Not a lot of games got a lot of attention. And it's weird how, you know, Xbox people were saying that PS3 had nothing to offer. There was no games. Now it seems like y'all getting the short end of the stick. Well, the thing about it, they are getting games. They're just not playing them. And that's why studios are backing away from Xbox. Oh, that's true. You got the, They're giving you games, but you guys are like, what is this? I don't want to play this. 
And it's true because like the most people I, I meet in my life that have Xbox, like, yo, I'm playing Madden, dude. Yo, I'm playing fucking Call of Duty. But yeah, because for the longest sleep, for y- just now, the Xbox got the Yakuza series on it. But yeah, I don't see anybody playing it. I haven't seen any like big YouTubers. Made yeah, it. nobody really cares <clears throat> about it on the Xbox. So I don't know why they even bother showing down the Xbox reveal. I feel like if Xbox wants to succeed, they just need to lean towards the audience that they cater to. Yeah. Which is basically sports. Like, get get good exclusive rights like FIFA, Madden, and all that. And I guarantee you those people will buy your console just for that. Yeah, but that pretty much make the Xbox a side console. Yeah, because I, I might buy the Xbox, but I might use it as, you know, a trash can, mini <laughs> fridge, maybe a prop to hold my PS5. <clears throat> it's like like my shelf of my TV's distance is like too high, and I'm like I gotta make some space up in there, so I just put the Xbox right there. <laughs> People come in, it's like is that a disc buffer? You got a disc buffer for your PS5? <laughs> yeah, that's a disc buffer. <laughs> wow, <a> disc buffer. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, moving on the next game. Oh man, the next game. Ooh. She supposedly what lands on the planet, <clears throat> and um, and she said she was being like consumed or something mm-hmm. with the planet. And every time she wakes up, the whole planet is getting worse. It makes me feel like that game you were playing, the Outer Wilds. Yeah. And like, there's like a, a countdown to the system. Well, the first one I didn't even <clears> know was <throat> a countdown. I just turned around, the sun was just looking at me in the face, like, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you say it goes supernova in yeah. Outer Wilds? Yeah, but Jesus Christ, the graphics, yeah, man. Yeah, the, the, the graphics look, look so good. And this is also an exclusive to PlayStation? Was it? It said PS Studios at the beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. I keep forgetting. That's their logo for exclusive now. Yeah, they're just like, yo. And like, oh, people in the comments, man. You, you were telling me all about it. I, I turned off the comments as soon as they you know started that, the event. Uh, you don't remember that song from Burnout <clears throat> Play where it starts out, We Are the Lazy Generation? Oh, that We Are the Lazy Generation. <laughs> Let's change lazy to the complaining. We Are the Complaining <laughs> Generation. Yeah. Yeah, freaking uh, Lumberjack calls me right after the event, after it's all over. And he tells me, he was like, these people in the comments are fucking ridiculous, man. Yeah, where's Call of Duty? There was no gameplay. There was gameplay. There was subtle gameplay in a lot of them. The funniest comment was uh, Resident Evil Resident Evil is overrated. <sighs> we'll get to that one. <laughs> Let's save it for that one. Yeah, but the people in the comments, they were complaining like, is that it? This is it? This is our lineup? Like, really? <sighs> Let's see, like I said, I enjoyed everything except for four games. Pretty much every game they showed, I would at least try. Yeah. But there's four I won't, I won't even bother with. <laughs> no, but this game, this game looks fucking yeah, that, interesting. Yeah, this is a, I'm definitely going to I don't know how you're not complaining it. about this. I mean, how, how people are complaining about this. They don't play like, and anything. They're like, oh, no, nah, this, See, this that, is too this much. This is another thing where, like, people say they want new stuff, new games. This looks like a new game. Like, but, look at the fucking environments. Look at that fucking ball. No, but that's, that's what I'm getting at. It looks good, but... Nobody knew what it was, and y'all was complaining. We need new IPs. We need new IP. Or is a new IP? And y'all complain about it. Uh, secretly, I thought this was fucking Prometheus. I was like, "Fuck, yeah, Prometheus!" Like Prometheus. Me. <laughs> 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 well, but <clears throat> no, nah, it looks, it looks really, it looks, it looks, it looks like I'm gonna throw my cash at it. No, I'm gonna fucking get it. it. Oh shit! No. Fucking enemies and shit. It like it has platforming. It's like open world. One big planet. I hope it's not open world. It has like it has horror elements left and right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good plus for me. I'm a big horror fan. Uh, Lumberjack's a big, yeah. big, uh, big horror fan. Only one game has scared me. Outlast, mainly because you can't fight back. That's what really gets me. Every other horror game you, yeah. you play, you can fight back, and this one you just run around with a camera. Well, anyway, this game that we're that we're looking at is called uh, Returnal. That's what it's called. Returnal. Yeah. I hope I'm pretty. It's a for sure buy for me. Yep. That's it. You know what the lyrics remind me of? Oh, what's that? That one game. Oh, 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 that Halo killer? Hey, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it does, dude. Holy shit. I remember that game was supposed to be a hype pipe, and I remember I played it, and everybody felt like a kill zone character. They were like, we're going to kill some shit. We're going to blow them up. <laughs> oh, man. That was funny. And was that a nice shot? Oh, sorry, guys, for the for the interruption. Lumberjack had to uh, move the dog. She's, yeah, she started barking a lot, didn't she? Couldn't hear it. I didn't even notice. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I was like. What I was gonna say once we get back to it, all we're gonna hear is just barking in the background. <laughs> he was sitting over there like, shh, shh, pause it, pause it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, back to the back to the games. Yeah, 
<coughs> the next one I'm not hype about at all. I'm I'm still gonna try it. Uh, the name of the game is what called Sack Boy A, a Big, Big Adventure. Adventure. I don't know. It reminds me of a lot like a uh, little Big Planet uh, karting. I would say. Yeah. I mean, it could be fun. I could I be I'm gonna give it a shot. <clears throat> I mean, but ever since Media Molecule has kind of like left that series, um, whoever is doing them now, uh, I don't know. They're just not doing anything good. I, I missed I missed Little Big Planet too. Anyway, this game makes you makes it seem more like a family game. It's more like you know, play with your family. I get that. I like that. That's cool. You know, it's but pretty to much me, a it's, platformer. I'm more of a single player guy. I do have my kids, but if I'm going to play a family game, I'll probably just play on the Switch. I'm not saying that the PS5 is not a family console. It could be. I mean, I have no problem with that. If any kid wants to get this game, if any family member looks at the game, and say it's it's cool, it's good looking, that's great. Buy it. I mean. Why, why should I hold your fun, right? If you like it, you like it. To me, I, you know, a little bit planet. When I think a little bit planet, we all think about one and two. Oh, uh, you know the rules of there. Internet gamers won't let you enjoy games. Oh, they're like, oh, he you hates gotta, it. You gotta hate everything. <laughs> okay, Lumberjack, the boom ball, the <laughs> boom ball. But yeah, the platforming and all that looks fun uh, for kids. Yeah, I just, I'm just glad something that <clears throat> planet's back. So the next one looks like a fucking neon listic twisted metal light. twisted metal light. <laughs> <laughs> it's called what? Destruction All Stars. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Although it's having like this Rocket League Fortnite mix mechanic, I don't know. Uh, people say it could be the next Rocket League. I, I don't I'm, see it. Yeah, but I, I really this. I said Rocket League was one of my favorite multiplayer yeah. games this generation. I'll, I'll give. This it, is I'll another sure. PS Studio game. That's weird. But I mean, I mean, it's cool, but it doesn't seem like the type of game they'll spit out, you know. I'm just glad they're trying something new, not like yeah. everybody else on the internet. They, they want the same but thing. But let me tell you something. This car destruction game is what I wanted in Twisted Metal from day one. Let me tell you something. You're missing out. Uh, what's that game called again? Flat Out. No, the one that's like Flat Out. Uh, Breakfast. Yeah, Breakfast. I was gonna buy it. I saw it. That it looks game, fun. That game no, but I'm saying like, look, like the chaos, like the fans, the the, the special moves from the car. Yeah. It all it all tells you, you know, Twisted Metal. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if the pre order was like, you pre order now, get Dollface, Sweet Tooth, and Grim. Hey, my. Yeah. Yo, and they, did they get they get their cars in there? Yo, it's over. Yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like this is just. This was supposed to be the twist of metal that we got. Uh, not the people that are running around, but the car destruction where they're being chopped in half and all that. Yeah. That's cool. The way we had it in Twisted Metal where you just hit them and they're just like, oh, flip, 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 flip. I'm a Lego brick. <laughs> nah, I don't, no. Nah. Come on, if Criterion could do that back on the PS2 days with uh, Takedown 3. Yeah. Shit. I don't know if I'll buy it first day. Uh, it looks yeah, like fucking WWE and <laughs> Twisted Metal. <laughs> I mean, look at that. I mean, yeah, he's a dude. The dude. <laughs> Yo. Now you're racing the wrestling. <laughs> what are we doing, bro? Yeah, so there's the background. We're doing both. Fucking El Fuerte, El, El Fuerte from Street Fighter comes in. <laughs> like, they think they start featuring like actual wrestles in there. His car looks like one of those Hot Wheel pans or pots. <laughs> like, yeah, oh man, uh, no, but it looks fun, and I love the music they played for the for the um for the trailer. Yeah, it yeah. kept me hype. It got me hype. I love it. The next game is a game that uh, Lumberjack is really looking forward to. It's called Kina, Bridge. Kina, Bridge of Spirits. Yeah, I'm keeping my eye on that one. A lot of people say that looks like a kitty game. Yeah. But the gameplay looks good. It looks cool. The mechanic, it mechanically looks cool. Yeah, I just like the visuals of it and the flow of the combat. It looks pretty good. I mean, right now, the combat looks simple. But yeah. hopefully when it does, you know, the whole full game's out. You know, after today when I was playing Concrete Genie yeah. and then seeing this trailer kind of reminds me of the same thing. Same concept, like oh, it's corrupt here, clear it out. Yeah, and that's what it seems like this is happening because there's like a whole bunch of enemies that are like dark and they're literally they're part of like chaos or something like that. Yeah, and once you kill them or give them that light with the with the bow staff, uh, you give color back to the wild. Yeah, and it see that that looks cool. It's a simple concept, but to be honest, the gameplay looks nice. It looks smooth. I like the flow of it. That's yeah, really. This is a good looking game. I'm gonna yeah. spend my money on it. Yeah, that's a that's a. That's a buy. That's a pre-order right there. Dude, Anyways, <laughs> it looks good. Uh, goodbye, Volcano High. Yeah, that that made me cringe. That really made me cringe. <laughs> what was that? I, Is, I just, that's a game. I thought it was just celebrating the end of the era, and I was, I was like, like, "Why are everybody in their feelings?" I like I like <laughs> indie games, but that. That game, I was, just, I was just cringing. I was like, what is this? This, this is weird. This is an Adult Swim show? <laughs> I'm laughing what it is. <laughs> it's because of left and right. Are we watching Fox Animation Domination right now? Like, like what is this? 
I, feel I don't like, know, man. I feel like this game is going to awake, uh, awaken something people. <laughs> the studio is the people who did Squidbillies and uh, Super Jail. <laughs> that, that, would, that would be surprising. That would be the ultimate shock. Yo, I don't know what this game's about. I don't even fucking want to know anymore. Yeah, I don't. I don't care. I'll be. I'm open to games, but this one. Yeah, this. this I play a lot of ending games, but this one. This felt like one of those cheap uh, Netflix shows. Oh yeah, they're like cheaply over, animated, over dramatic. They're like they were uh, they were influenced by the art style of Devil May Cry Baby. So uh, see, Devil May Cry had personality. Yeah, Devil May Cry. Oh man, first I didn't understand what the fuck I was watching. Like episode one through four, I was just what am I watching? But after episode five, yeah, it's deep. <laughs> it's deep, it, and it's a good homage to the original one. Yeah, I feel like it lives up to it. I think more. I feel like more animators need to do that. Yeah. Once the anime, you know, it's kind of outdated, it should get. But I don't know, man. I don't know, guys. We could be wrong. This game could be fucking fantastic. But for what we just saw presentation-wise, Lumberjack's over here just nodding left and right. He's like, nope, fuck that. <laughs> oh, you know, it can, it can shock me. Anyway, just say goodbye, and I say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for watching our part one video of The Verdict. Uh, there's, there's, there's a lot to talk about, so we had to break it up to two parts. So uh, thank you for enjoying the first one. And we'll hope to see you on the second one. This is how we look like trying to get through 2020.